Hello, language learners. Welcome back to Learn Mandarin Chinese in Five Minutes YouTube channel. Today we are diving deep into one of the most common and surprisingly complex Chinese characters, Ting. If you are learning Mandarin, you have probably encountered this word a lot. But did you know that depending on the context, Ting can mean so much more than just listen. Understanding them is key to mastering Chinese. Stick around because by the end of this video, you will be using these words like a native speaker. Before we get started, here's a question. What's the difference between Ting, Ting Dao and Ting Jian? Think about it for a second. All of them mean here, right? But can you use them interchangeably? Drop your answers in the comments below and see if you can get it right by the end of the video. Let us learn how to write this character. Let's begin with the basics. The character ting is pronounced as ting in the first tone. And generally, it means to listen or to hear. The simplified version of ting has the radical ko, means mouth, but the traditional version has the radical ear. The reason why the radical for the simplified version became ko is another story that we won't discuss here. Ting is often combined with other words to create specific listening-related phrases, and this is where things get a little tricky. It's like looking at the same scene through different lenses, each one slightly shifts how you view it. Now let us compare two similar sounding words, ting jian and ting dao. Both can be translated as to hear, but are they interchangeable? Well, the answer is yes. Both mean the sound made it to your ears. The subtle difference is that ting dao is more conversational than ting jian. 我听到房外有奇怪的声音. I heard a strange noise outside the room. For this sentence, you can also say 我听见房外有奇怪的声音. But you cannot say 我听房外有奇怪的声音. This is wrong. 他听到 很多关于她的谣言. She heard a lot of rumors about herself, so you can change 听到 to 听见. So the sentence becomes 她听见很多关于她的谣言. Ting by itself means to listen, using the ears to hear the sound. For example, 我喜欢听 摇滚夜曲. You cannot say 我喜欢听见 or 听到摇滚夜曲. What about the previous sentence 他听到很多关于他的谣言? Can you use 听? Well, you can if you add 了 after 听. You can say 他听了 很多关于他的谣言. Now, let's talk about expressing whether you can or cannot distinguish sounds. That's where 听得出 and 听不出 come in. 听得出 means to be able to tell by listening. So, for example, 我听得出他在生你的气. I can tell that she is mad at you. This sentence means that just by listening to her voice or tone, you can tell that she is angry or otherwise. 你听得出谁在教室里说话吗? Can you tell who is speaking in the classroom? In context, the speaker is asking if the listener is able to identify the person speaking. 
in the classroom based on their voice. 我听不出她是在骂我 I can't tell that she is scolding me. You can also add 来 after 听不出 The sentence becomes 我听不出来她是在骂我从她的口音，我们听不出她是哪里人。From his accent, we cannot tell where he is from. Other common phrases: 听说 to hear about or to be told. It's a great phrase to talk about rumors or things you have heard secondhand. 听说彼得回美国了。I heard that Peter has returned to America. 听说 is a 离合词 meaning you can separate 听 and 说 So for this sentence, 听说彼得回美国了 If you were to separate 听 and 说 you have to put something in between. You can say 听小丽说彼得回美国了 Means you heard from Xiao Li that Peter has returned to America. 听不懂 is a negation of 听得懂 This is what you say when you don't understand what you are hearing. For example, 他没学过汉语，所以听不懂 She hasn't studied Chinese, so she can't understand. But I hope you 听得懂。小丽是个听话的孩子。小丽 is an obedient child. 听话 just like 听说 is a 离合词。So the sentence can also be 小丽是个听父母话的孩子。Xiao Li is a child who listens to her parents, meaning she is obedient to her parents. 听不了 The term 听不了 is used in Chinese to express the inability to listen because of some issues. For example, 收音机坏了，听不了 The radio is broken. I cannot listen. Meaning, you cannot use the radio to listen. Take note that the character "le" in 听不了 should be pronounced as 了 and not "le." It is wrong to say 听不了听不下去听不下去 is a Chinese phrase that expresses. Being unable to continue listening due to discomfort, disagreement, or a strong emotional response, it typically implies that what you're listening is unpleasant, unbearable, or offensive to the point where you cannot stand to listen anymore. 他说的话太伤人了，我听不下去了。What he said is too hurtful. I can't continue listening. Anymore. His class is too boring. I can't continue listening anymore. His class is too boring. I can't continue listening anymore. His class is too boring. I can't continue listening anymore. His class is too boring. I can't continue listening anymore. His class is too boring. I can't continue listening anymore. His class is too boring. I can't continue listening anymore. His class is too boring. I can't continue listening anymore. Unclear speech or a bad connection. 外面太吵了，我听不清你在说什么。It's too noisy outside. I cannot hear clearly what you are saying. 听不到，听不到 is a Chinese phrase that means cannot hear or unable to hear. It is used when a sound doesn't reach your ears at all, implying that there's no perception of the sound. This is different from the phrase 听不清 which means the sound is present but not clear, whereas 听不到 indicates that the sound is either absent or too faint to hear. 
。他是个聋子，听不到你说的话。He is deaf and cannot hear what you are saying. That's a wrap for today's video. Now you know the subtle yet important differences between 听听见听到听得出 and 听不出 Understanding these small nuances will help you sound more natural in your conversations. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a lesson. And let me know in the comments below what's your biggest struggle in learning Chinese. See you next time, and as always, happy learning!